Hi, everyone. I'm Chris Lehman. I'm the founding director of the Educator Collaborative, and you are tuning in to this brief pre-session, um, which is called when <laughs> Learning with the Ed Collab When Nothing is Normal. Um, this session is all about ways that you can learn with us and our colleagues here at the Educator Collaborative. Um, it's an informational session for individual educators, some opportunities that you have um, that are free, low cost, or for fee um, with us, um, as well as for schools and school leaders that might be looking for support. Um, I'll try to keep this brief so you can focus on the rest of the learning for today, um, but it always feels like this is a good place to put all of the questions about, well, what's going on this year in the Ed Collab? How do we learn with you? What do we do? Here's the place to find out about that. Um, so uh, what's going on with us? So first of all, um, our, the Educator Collaborative um, has lots of different ways that you can learn for free or low cost with us. Um, uh, the gathering is one of them. So it's, we're in our 14th right now, uh, and which is mind blowing. Um, and they're always free, no registration. They are a gift to the educator community. Um, we've had other uh, ways of learning with us that have always been for fee, but what we've decided to do is continue as the pandemic is still going strong and still affecting our communities and the financial well-being of so many of us. Um, we've decided to make um, a number of our opportunities pay what you'd like. So this year, the study series will continue to be pay what you're able, pay what you'd like. Um, we started that last spring as the pandemic was going strong and we invited you and anyone that would like to, to pay any fee that um, you feel comfortable with. So some of you joined for free, some of you joined for $5, $25, $100. Um, some of you paid the regular fee of $348 for the year. Um, whatever you pay helps to support the Educator Collaborative and our speakers through their fee, their speaker fees that we give them to present um, as they're sharing their expertise with you. We want to make sure that they're compensated for their time. Um, so anything that you're able to pay um, supports us. However, if your financial situation or what you'd like to pay is $2 or nothing, um, we just wanna make sure that this series is open and available to you. One thing that is going to be brand new this year and um, will all begin in October um, is our study series is changing formats in order to be responsive to how all of us are feeling <laughs> right now, but also the amount of time and energy that we have and the amount of screen time that we all have. So my colleagues and I here at the Ed Collab, um, everyone who's a member of the Ed Collab is a practicing educator. Um, everyone that's here either is a current classroom teacher teaching remotely or in these weird hybrid models that just make no sense. Um, sorry, but, but what, whatever whatever you are in, members of our community are in too. So we have um, members that are current classroom teachers. We have members that are current instructional coaches, that are current literacy um, leaders, administrators, um, that oversee large and small districts or groups. Um, we are, Our team is international, um, including our uh, members and our associates. Um, we have um, uh, college level instructors that are doing all of this right now too. We have um, PD providers like myself that is doing all this now too with adults. Um, all of us are in this with you and we're all learning together at the same time. So we decided that it would be important to um, shift our structure. So here's how the study series will be the same this year. You will still get to learn from our incredible uh, team. You still will get to learn um, inspirational ideas and practical ones that you can apply to your teaching and learning right now. Um, what will be different is the format. So in the past, our study series have been hour-long sessions that happen uh, Wednesday or two per month, um, all the way through June. And uh, all of those sessions have allowed you to tune in live or watch the recording anytime through June 30th. What will be different this year is the time. So all of the study series will now be a half hour instead of an hour because we want to learn with you, but we also want you to stop looking at your computer at some point. <laughs> so um, they'll be 30 minutes long. Um, instead of having 12 though, we're doubling it. So it'll be the same amount of content. It just will be shorter sessions. Um, so instead of 12, we'll have 24 if everything goes according to plan. 
I've learned to say that now because it's a pandemic, but we're aiming for 24. We'll likely get there. Maybe we'll give you more, who knows? Um, but we're, we're aiming for 24 sessions. We have, I'll say it this way, we've all signed up for 24. If something happens, something happens, but we've all signed up for amazing topics and the topics are so great. You'll, you'll um, I, I think, appreciate them. Um, these 30 minute sessions are focused on how to's. So they're focused on big topics like how do I make a schedule that makes sense right now for teaching remote learning? How do I do an engaging read aloud now while online? What are just a few, not a ton, but just a few open access technology tools that will help me engage my students that aren't going to be too much to learn? Um, how do I um, grade right now? So all, all of these questions um, we've put into 30 minute how to sessions that are purposefully practical, um, inspirational as always, but are trying to help you get to the goods fast and get out. Um, another thing that's different is they will all be pre recorded. And so uh, my colleagues and I are aiming to have the first batch up by October 1st, and then more will be added after that. Um, but by the winter, um, almost all of the 24 sessions or more um, should be posted to our site. Um, all of the topics come from real lived experience that we're all in right now, but also in conversations and work with educators um, across this pandemic and across the summer as well too. Um, so we hope you'll enjoy those. Um, the sessions will have an institutional price of um, $348 for the year. Um, that is per school. If a school wants to sign up for your colleagues, if a school pays that price, then um, you can contact us and we'll help you get login information to anyone in your school that would like to watch. Um, for individuals, it will be pay what you'd like. Again, it supports us if you pay something, but if your financial situation now means that it's best that you don't, we still want you to learn with us, you can join for free. So that will um, all be coming up and lots of announcements will be made about it um, just as October uh, approaches, uh, but we hope that you'll join us with that. Another um, free but pay what you'd like um, opportunity um, is a great gift to us um, by Dr. Dana Stokoyak, a member of a longtime member of the Educator Collaborative. Um, Dana, uh, in addition to her work um, as a professor in her writing and research around social justice, identity work, LGBTQ um, identity and education, um, in addition to her social justice uh, deep expertise, um, she also, for um, over a decade, has been um, learning and engaged in mindfulness practices and has also been, uh, over the past several years, working on a long-term certificate um, in being a mindfulness um, coach. And so Dana, over um, uh, the pandemic, uh, offered the Ed Collab, all of us, her colleagues, um, a mindfulness time for us to just sit and go through a, a guided meditation with her and have some time to discuss and talk. Um, it was our first meeting once uh, the pandemic had started. So it must have been, uh, I think, April. Um, all of us left that saying that bit of time that we had together was the most important time we had had in weeks. Um, and so Dana is graciously giving her time. In fact, she's, she's willing to do it totally for free. Um, she'll be giving her time in what she's calling Reach Mindfulness for Educators, Radical Equity and Collective Healing. Um, these will be about 45 minutes to an hour happening um, the third Thursday of each month beginning in October um, at 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, and they will be a combination of a mindfulness sit. A mindfulness sit is, is a, like a time to come and have a guided meditation um, or to work on relaxation exercises. And so it will be a mindfulness sit and social justice conversation, um, two things that Dana is deeply rooted in and has real expertise in, plus she's just an awesome person anyway. Um, and so more information about those will come. That will also be a pay what you'd like. Dana said, I'm willing to do it for free, I said, well, why don't we give people the option to pay something if they'd like to? And so um, we'll give you that option. Again, you could just join for free if you'd like. Um, the idea is you can come and go as you'd like. If this month you can make it, great. If this month you can't, you don't. Um, however, if you were to join all of them, you would continue in a conversation and some mindfulness practices across time. 
it again is just was such a gift to us um, and feels like it's just so important right now to make time for ourselves and have some time to just focus, um, uh, collect ourselves, heal each other, and also think about ways that we can heal our communities and those around us. So thank you, Dana, um, for volunteering for that and um, more information to come um, also in uh, early October. Um, at the Educator Collaborative, we also offer, and I'm going to switch my screen here, I, just as an aside, isn't it fun how we all say that? Like now that all of us do Zoom, there was a point in time where things that we did here on the Ed Collab, which was almost everything was online, um, we were a bit of a novelty. Now everyone gets to do this too. Um, and isn't it kind of funny how I think every single one of us, no matter how many times we do it, just let everyone know, I'm just switching my screen. I have to work on getting rid of that. Um, that phrase there, but here I am switching my screen. So um, the last thing to say about ways that you can learn with us um, this year is we are available to work with you and your teams and your district uh, or your school. Many of us are now and have been across the summer. Um, the best place to find out information on that is if you go to our website and click on um, remote learning. And here are all the different ways that you could learn with us this year. If none of these are really the exact way you want to learn, just reach out to us by going to contact us right there. Contact us. If you click on contact us, consulting request, or just whichever one you want to click, if you contact us with a question, we're happy to find a way to work with you. Um, so here are some things that we can do. So um, first, we continue to work long term with schools. Uh, my colleagues and I have um, many schools and districts that we continue to work with in this strange new world that we're in. We did so back in the spring, we continue to do so now. Um, so we really build that to your needs so we can create things like virtual PLCs where we'll work with the same groups of people several times across time. Um, or you could just say, we need some help. Can you help us figure out how many hours would that be? How much time should we take? Um, our goal is always twofold. One is to be as practical and supportive as possible, but it's also to remain humane. And so during this time now, what we generally help you not do is to put you and your colleagues in like an eight hour training session with us because we just think that that's not okay. Um, so we would work with you to figure out things like some examples. Um, we've had institutes that we've done over this summer where we've worked with districts and had half day sessions um, to support you and your colleagues. Um, we've had one hour meetings that we've led with small groups across time. We've been engaged in planning sessions to help rethink curriculum and rewrite it. Um, we've worked uh, with schools on just one time web sessions. So it's been like two hours on a practice that we can help folks get started on. Um, so that's one way you can work with us is to work on some long term PD. Another way that we can be extremely helpful and my colleagues and I are always here for is if you are a literacy leader or a team leader or a principal or administrator that's just trying to figure something out. So if you're trying to rework your scope and sequence or you're trying to figure out how to make a schedule work better or you're concerned about representation in this remote or hybrid environment that you're in, um, yes, classroom libraries were one way that you could um, have a broader range of identities represented in classrooms, but what does that look like now when you don't have access to all of those texts, perhaps? Um, my colleagues and I are here to support you in your thinking and decision making. If you're working with us long term across the year, we're here to help you as leaders all the time anyway. But if you just would like us to be involved in some planning meetings or talk with you um, or to send stuff for us to, to edit or revise for you, take a look at, send back, um, please reach out, out to us. Oops, I'm sorry, that was this one, Literacy Expert on Call, and we're happy to help you with that. So we're there to support you, and that's our on-call option. If you click on that link, it'll basically pre-populate um, our contact form with, I'd like, you know, a Literacy Expert on Call. Um, again, you can also just reach out to us with, this is what we're working on, how can you help us? So what this was is one thing we're, we're very good at um, is uh, coming in to take a look at how is literacy instruction going, um, both literacy and content area literacy. It's something that we've done in person all of the time when we do site visits. Um, we're able to help you get a sense of where things are on, or going right now. Um, it's something that over the course of this pandemic, 
we've been learning to do better and better in an online environment as well. And so if you'd like a sense of how are things going with your school's teaching right now, um, you can contact us and we can work with you to um, basically do a site visit that's virtual. So we'd get access with you, you'd let your teachers know that we'll be visiting um, their virtual classrooms, we might watch some live lessons, we certainly will be looking at um, some examples of recorded uh, uh, sessions or, or uh, asynchronous learning that they have up. Um, all of that, our goal is to let you know what's going well that you can build on. So one thing that we don't ever aim to do with a snapshot is to say, everything's horrible, the roof is on fire, this is what's falling apart. We think that's disrespectful to your colleagues, to you. We know that all of you have been working very hard before this pandemic and especially now to make things as good as they can be. We won't come in and do that. Um, we have sometimes heard of other districts that have had literacy snapshots or site reviews um, that are left where everyone's angry. That is not healthy, nor does that make sense. Um, so really it's our goal to help you highlight what's going well, to find the things that, that it's so hard to keep track of and to help you expand that to everyone else. So that's the goal of our virtual snapshots. And then of course, we're available to make custom workshops or institutes or other ways that we can learn with you. Um, we've already talked about the study series, the EdClab gathering, you'll see us again in April. You're hopefully watching it right now as well too. Um, but those are just some ways that you can learn with us uh, during this year. Uh, so if you have any questions or you'd like to reach out and learn about ways that you could join um, the study series or to join Dana's work with her Reach Mindfulness for Educators, um, or if you'd like to invite um, my colleagues and, and I to work with you and your district or your school, um, please do visit us on our website, theeducatorcollaborative.com, um, and there you can say contact us and you can reach out. We also have a whole bunch of buttons everywhere that you can click on those things too. Um, uh, the information about the study series and about Dana's work will be coming out in early October. The best way to keep tabs on that is to follow us on social media, um, basically anywhere, but we especially make use of our Twitter and Instagram pages. So if you follow us there, you'll see any new updates that come out. You also can uh, join our newsletter. There's links to do that right here on the gathering page, as well as on our website. We'll also be e we'll email out information that way too. So. Um, Thank you to uh, all of you for joining us, giving some of your day today uh, to be a part of our gathering. Um, we hope to work with you and see you across this year in some way. Um, and please do continue to reach out um, online and stay connected. Thanks for all that you do for your colleagues, for your students, for yourselves, your community, your family, and our amazing profession. Um, have a great day, everyone.